Hey everybody, it's Brian Davis, Mr. Buys a Lot, coming to you with a what we purchased today from Sailorsburg Flea Market. So today was Sunday, June 8th, I believe, and we went to Sailorsburg Flea Market this morning. Uh, we got there about 7 a.m. I was a little late, but I wanted to show you guys what we picked up. Um, I put it in a couple little spaces, so I'll give you guys a quick rundown and show you what we got. And hopefully this video is informative for you. I will be away on vacation next week. So I will release this video uh, probably Tuesday of next week while I'm away on vacation. But uh, it was super cool today. I got to hang out and meet Taco Stacks. So if you guys watch YouTube, uh, Taco Stacks is another reseller. Sets up, does storage lockers, trash picking, scrap metal, kind of a little bit of everything. Super cool guy. Uh, him and Paper and Moose, Renee, were at Sailorsburg this morning, so it was a cool day. I got to meet them, talk to them a little bit. Uh, we're going to try to set something up uh, for Renee to come and look at some stuff I have that I think she would like. But if you guys aren't subscribed to their channels, make sure you go check them out. It's Paper and Moose uh, is Renee's channel, and Taco Stacks is obviously Taco's channel. But I wanted to show you guys what I picked up today. Uh, we'll start out with, I got some baseball hats, like plastic hats. They're a little older, but this was a pretty good bargain for me. Um, you know, I don't really know the value of these, but I figured the price was 15 bucks for all of them. And they are a little older. They're marked right there. Property of Larka. So there's a, there's a nice group of them. I'm just going to set them out on the table and then I'll show them to you guys. Try not to make the video too, too long. Obviously some are a little older than others. somehow so I'll show you these and then I'll kind of stack them up just so I can pull out the other stuff but pretty interesting and for $15 for all of them I felt like it was a great deal um, for us to buy and these will probably actually go to my Facebook auction and you know I'll probably sell Two or three at a time, try to make a little bit of profit. And then move on. Our business model is pretty much uh, flip it fast, make a little profit, and keep moving. So these are all stacks of two. And it looks like I saw three duplicates or two duplicates. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. So I got 18 plastic Major League Baseball team hats, um, and it was 15 bucks for the purchase price. So to me, it was a great buy. Uh, this is actually probably one of my favorite items. As you all know, I like vintage items, and a little bit for these but these are super cool and they're really early so as you can see Riverside International Speedway Winston Cup Riverside and these were probably given out to people as they uh, went to see the races and when they were at the races, these were probably given kind of like as, as a pass, like as an admission pass. But that I'm not positive of. I'll have to do a little research. But they all seem to be around 1968. They are all vintage, cool, old stock. 
So I bought a nice group of them. I don't really remember what I paid for them. Um, it was like a couple bucks a piece across the board. So definitely worth the buy. So I thought those were pretty neat. And Harry, if you're watching this video, told you you should have went with me. Okay. Matter of fact, Harry Humstone, if you're watching this video, there was a guy set up today that had probably 60 or 70 glass insulators. Uh, you all know I like paper. Normally I wouldn't buy photos that were ripped, but these photos have both pieces. So... Even though they're ripped, for some of my photo collectors, because these are like restaurant interiors and they've got really nice look to them, um, but the better ones are the exteriors of the store, and I'll show you why. So this is one of them, as you can see right here. That might be the... Uh, yep, it's this one. Okay. So, as you guys can see, these are probably early 1900s. This one's awesome because of this. Um, real early beer advertisement. Henry Stork Liebman's Lager Beer, which I believe later became like Reinhold's. I'll have to fact check that, but I think that's what the case was. Here's another brewery. The building's covered in ivy, but super interesting. And you can see right there, their symbol. I just can't remember which brewer it was, but there's a cafe. And then there's another store interior, so of a bar. I'm not sure why somebody ripped them all in half and kept both halves. But super neat. Um, you all know I have like the rock and roll concert posters. There was a guy that had some like 70s old stock um, jewelry and metal. So I went through a big box. He had a bunch of like piece ones and um, you know, eagles, born and wild, and stuff like that. But since I have a lot of the rock and roll posters, thought these were cool. Jimi Hendrix, REM, Smashing Pumpkins, and Bush. So I got those today. They were fifteen dollars for the four. So I think it was a great buy. I like quantity. Anytime I can find it, these are nineteen fifties yacht. Penbecks. Um, they're formed pens done in like a thin brass or thin gold colored aluminum. So, very cool little yachts. They're 1950s. We had three dozen of those, so I bought all three dozen. Uh, you guys can see yeah. a box of children's, you know, play coloring books and stuff like that from the 40s and 50s. Maybe a little earlier on some of it. But there was one that I thought was really cool. That one's super thick, pretty neat. So Betsy Bunny was kind of neat. Some of them are colored, some are not. Red Eagle. This one's Train Trip. It's a color. Lots of dots. Famous dog stories. This one's super cute. Definitely uh, wartime, military related. Be for victory. Put a red riding hood. A 
picture hunt, draw the dots, major jets from Sugar Jet Cereal, comic book, follow the dots, fun with words, and that one looks like it is, what's that, 1964 maybe? Cry Tomorrow, movie for sure, another piece of paper, I like the old ephemera so this was kind of neat, Lucky Star Western Fun Comics from Flavor Ice Cream, Flavor Candy Company, as you can see, kind of neat, there's a baseball cap ad, postcard, and then Sunshine Cruises, 1955-56. Make sure there's nothing else in there. I'll move that out of the way. Okay. I'll show you guys this little lot right here. America's Smartest Sports Jackets came in this envelope with this. So super cool early advertising punch card. The original envelope, unused little punch board. Here's another one. And it has the envelope as well on the back. And then there's another one with the envelope and punch board for roll point pens. Uh, this is probably the most expensive thing I bought today. It's like about a hundred bucks for the album. But these are the India American Indian Chiefs series. I believe there's 30 or so. These are from Red Man Chewing Tobacco. So there's four, eight, 12. There's 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 to 2, 3 to 4, 25 to 6, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. So there's 33 of the Red Man Chewing Tobacco American Indian Chiefs. So those were kind of cool. Got those today. Um, a little more pop culture. From the movie Say Anything, Lloyd Dobler from Vinyl Idols. And Robin from Batman, Vinyl Idol figure. This was definitely the heaviest item that I bought and I had to carry it around. As you can see, the guy Opened the box up in front of me, and it's old stock. He uh, bought a storage locker, and it had beer distributor items in it. But as you can see, so these are Ram's Head. Ram's Head L. Not sure why it's not focusing. The aristocrat of L's. And Valley Forge. So these are all Valley Forge. One side is Ram's Head L. And these are all old stock. So super neat. I was really excited about those. 500 of them. For all you pop culture fans out there. And video game fanatics. I saw this. Um, I think it's part of a larger set, but I thought it was very cool. It is the wizard figure from South Park, the Stick of Truth, for PlayStation 3, Grand Wizard Edition. So this was just the figure and the paperwork. So I don't know if like a whole bunch more stuff came with it or whatnot, but it was $8, so I bought it. Every now and then, I will pick up Briar Horses. So this morning happened to be one of those now and thens. 
and I will show you guys why. It is a jumping steed. You can see here it was originally priced at 12 bucks. I didn't even ask the guy to come down and he gave it to me for $10. But normally you don't find them with the base. So it goes on there like that and is a jumping steed briar horse. It was 10 bucks. So I took a shot. Um, probably the coolest thing I got this morning was this metal holder it holds match books or safety matches but whether i agree with it or not super collectible obviously it is um very early vintage so you can see it was 15 bucks i have no clue what the letters mean or the words not my you know personal views but super collectible, really hard to find. And then I'm actually going to hook you guys up to a holder real quick. Like that just so that I can open this bag over here. So that I can get these items out for you guys. What else I bought? It wasn't too, too much today. It was kind of a slow day of purchasing. So we've got the Graphoscope, which I thought was pretty neat. And for eight bucks, you can see, super early, very cool. Uh, with the paperwork is underneath it in the original box. And then I will bring the camera off the holder back over here. And there was a bunch of Boy Scout stuff. So, Troop 36, Mount Holly, New Jersey. Belmont Scout Ranch. Troop 155 Brooklyn's Finest. A tie with a clasp. The World Jamboree from 1967. Philadelphia from 1967, the Frontier Camp, Camperee. 1961 Open House Award, Quaker City Recruiter. So some Boy Scout stuff is very good, guys. Uh, you just kind of have to do your due diligence. Um, I gamble and just buy without doing the research. I don't recommend that with everybody, but you know I know this stuff is 50s and 60s. So for the $30 I paid for all of it, I'm, you know, quite happy with the buy. So this is a silverware set. There are lanyards, a bunch of lanyards, a whistle, a Scoutmaster whistle. It says the Acme Thunderer. Yeah, a couple keychains, more lanyards and neckties, an order of the arrow necktie. They probably made it at Scout Camp. Uh, another Philmont, some patches. Uh, I have no clue what these are. Um, Cub Scout Promise, Rokas placards, Scout Oath. And this is a Cub Scout Promise. Those are a little earlier. Those are 50s. 1973 Scout Jamboree. Philmont Scout Ranch. All old stock. Camp Master. Sorry, I'm not sure why my phone is not autofocusing. Some earlier pieces. These are... 
Coins Alaska Bear Weekend 1973 and presented to third place Maps of Tokyo for Jamboree but also Seiko. There's a bunch more neckerchief slides, pins, and Boy Scout coins. Some more Campery, um, let's say, Rubber Tree Council, Seven More Boys, and Boy Scouts are very popular right now in 1953 coin, so there's a bunch of Boy Scout coins, you see the awards and the cards and the decals, so obviously I think I got a great deal on this lot for 30 bucks. Um, the guy just told me 30 bucks. I paid it. Didn't ask for a discount. You know, whenever I think something's already priced very fairly, I just buy it and worry about it later. But this was a great group of scouting uh, memorabilia. Has some good popularity. If you get the right neckerchiefs, they're worth hundreds of dollars. Um, some troops were only in for, you know, a year or two. So that stuff becomes pretty rare. Um, I don't know if I have any of that type of stuff in this group. Not my specialty. But I got those. And then before I left, I wanted to show you guys. I picked up this. I was going to go through it. But I didn't have room to put it on the table until just now. So I picked this up. You know, some diecast cars but this is an older matchbox this here is an older matchbox a little rough also older matchbox you can look at the bottom there you go made in England whenever you're looking these up there's usually a number on them uh, so this is number 22 for matchbox a little Motorcycle trailer, an Indy car. Uh, here's the Honda motorcycle for the trailer. So that's actually not a bad car. Little red sportsman pickup truck is decent. Open windows, this is probably not, no, this is Matchbox. This is the Lamborghini, number 33. The tanks were really neat because they are corgi. Let's see corgi tanks. Um, so there was like three or four of those. This was a nice king size earlier Lesney matchbox. Right there. So this is a K6, king size six. More cars that remind me of Speed Racer. There's the pink camper which is kind of neat, in really great shape. This is the uh, Greyhound bus, the double-decker BP bus in mint shape. So these are a bunch of older Matchbox. And I got, I got this group for was it $25? I think it was, it was either $25 or $20. Huh? Not want to focus on that one. Number 67, Volkswagen. That's obviously Speed Racer's car, the Mach 5. And over here are a few more tanks and Corgi helicopters and vehicles. So, also got that today. So, that is today's haul from Sailorsburg Flea Market. Just to show you guys what and all I picked up. I think I spent a total of uh, 250 ish dollars. I think I'll do very well. Uh, I probably will get close to the 250 just for the uh, bottle cap openers, the beer openers, because it's a case of 500 pieces. So, even if I sold them at 50 cents a piece, I get all my money back for selling just this. And then everything else is profit. That's 
generally the way I like to do deals. If I can get my money back real quick and then have everything else as profit, it doesn't matter, you know, if it sits in the warehouses. Um, all of this will just come up in one of my Facebook auctions. I won't take the time to do most of this as far as eBay goes. I might look up a little bit of the Boy Scout stuff. All the other stuff I'll just probably put in the auction. Um, but super happy about today. I leave tonight for our vacation in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Again, you know, uh, if you guys watch this, I met Taco Stacks and Paper and Moose. Super nice people. Uh, it was really a fun day for me uh, to get to meet them. I'm actually heading up to my other warehouse now to do a little bit of other catch-up work uh, before we leave tonight at midnight and drive for 11 hours. So I'm sure I'll do some videos from down south. I'll take you guys through an antique shop that my sister runs in Myrtle Beach area. It's just so that if you're ever down in that area, you see something in that antique shop, you can call and uh, talk to Cheryl and she can probably even do some mail order for you if you don't have the ability to get down there and buy because I know they take credit cards. So she can probably ship it to you possibly. I'll see what I can do for you guys. Okay, so this is Mr. Buy's Lot. This was my Sunday flea market finds. Hopefully this video finds everybody well. Everybody stay safe. And remember, you get out of your business what you put in. So this is Mr. Buy's Lot signing off. Thanks, guys. Bye.